today we talk about the first three gates of Mem. Um, <clears throat> first is a linear gate, then a triangular gate, then a quadrangular gate. Okay, the linear gate is the path of Mem. Now this is the mother letter of water, the lowest of the mother letters on the tree of life. It is the completion of the astral body. And after this is just Malkuth, which means that after the astral body is complete, we are prepared for material uh, manifestation. Okay? So, <clears throat> like all of the mother letters, they represent a synthesis between poles. Okay, with Shin, the mother letter of fire, we had this poles of <clears throat> essential meaning and essential form. And Shin is the mediator between these two, the connector between these two. In Aleph, we had the polarities of collectivity and individuality. And Aleph, the air mediated between these two poles, united these two poles. Now here, with water, we have the polarities of <clears throat> resonance and dissonance, the opening and the closing between self and other, okay? So, all three mother letters <clears throat> mother paths uh, represent these two polarities. Now the, the polarity between essential meaning and essential form is just a force that goes in one direction from Chokmah to Bina. It's an undeniable passage of energy between these two. With Aleph, it's more a balance between the two. There's not a, a, f a strong flow from one to the other. It just sort of balances between the two. With Mem, however, there is a constant back and forth. As we interact with other, we are constantly opening and closing and opening and closing. Opening to other and then protecting self, opening to other, and then protecting self. It's a constant back and forth, okay? <clears throat> and as I said, this is the completion of the astral body, just as the Aleph was the completion of the mental body, okay? And Shin, the completion of the supernal body, okay? Mem, aside from completing the astral body, also completes the nature of time. Remember with Shin, we had uh, infinite change, okay? With Aleph, we had sequence, okay? Now with Mem, we have duration the three components of time. So with Mem, time is fully realized. And that sets the stage for the realization of space, which is dependent on time. Okay. So how we come to duration through Mem? <clears throat> okay, duration is really a product of repetition, okay? Sequential repetition. So as we, we you know, uh, go between resonance and dissonance, resonance and dissonance, this constant movement back and forth, and that is the whole of uh, uh, our reality, is a movement between dissonance and resonance, between resonance and dissonance, dissonance and resonance, resonance and dissonance. So as we're moving back and forth, awareness 
realizes that it's done this before. Duration is also a function of memory. So memory and repetition, we, memory sort of anchors us into a past experience and we compare it to the present experience and in this way we get the perception of duration because it's been, you know, X amount of time <clears throat> since we experienced the resonance when we're in a dissonant state. And likewise, it's X amount of time since we experience the dissonance when we are in a resonant state. So, we begin to experience duration, which is, of course, the final component of time. So, <clears throat> the first gate is the linear gate of Mem. We start in Netzach and move along Mem to Hod and then back again. And from this, we learn what it means to open, to resonate, and to close, to dissonate, to protect the self-identity versus opening the self-identity to include other. Okay, this is the critical part of the astral body, the completion of the astral body. The second gate is the triangular gate, and this has all to do with the whole structure of the mental, of the astral body. It's Netzach, <coughs> Hod, and Yesod. So we begin in Netzach, follow Mem over to Hod, up the path of Capricorn to Yesod, and then down the path of Sagittarius to Netzach, and then back around. So, <clears throat> here we learn about the true structure of the astral body, the power of the astral body. Everything about the astral body is included in this gate. And we can, <clears throat> by pursuing this gate deep enough, master our astral body. Okay? And this is the body that integrates into material manifestation. Okay? So our third gate is a quadrangle. And it this talks about the relationship between Mem and Aleph. Okay? So it starts in Netzach follows the path of Mem over to Hod, up the path of Mercury to Gebura, cross the path of Aleph to Gejula, and down the path of Venus to Netzach, and then, of course, back around. So here we see how the mental body integrates with the astral body, okay? And how one is a reflection of the other, how the astral body reflects the mental body and is rooted in the mental body. It's basically the mental body, the water region of the mental body, okay? So that's it for today. And we next time will be four more of the gates of men. Till then, bye-bye.